Yeah, so the, the main melody is just coming from this plugin, which cost a pound, which is just unreal, really. Hello guys, it's Unders. I hope the day is finding you well. So, this is kind of a strange video. Um, I made this beat quite a while ago. It's um, It's been up on BeatStars and on the Beat webpage for a while. And I made it using this plugin, which is like the Air Vacuum Pro, plugin that I've had access to for ages and ages because uh, uh, I've been using Pro Tools or I have bought Pro Tools when it was version eight, which I've still got the box kicking around for. And this was a synth in there. And there was an upgrade option a little while ago for people who already own Pro Tools to get their Air Suite to use the other plugins. So I've had access to them in Logic and whatnot. Now, this plugin is now one pound. You can buy this synth for a quid. It is probably the easiest, best investment you, you're going to make for a while. I don't know how long the offer's on for, but uh, it, I'll link it down below. Like for the sake of a pound, just grab it. And uh, I thought I'd show you this particular project because in here, the main lead and the chords and everything in the hook are all coming from the vacuum. That's this lead sound here. And these chords here doing this like pad sound, all coming from a synth that you can get for a quid. Um, so what I thought I would do is just break down sort of how it works and what it does. So if we just take the main melody, like weird distorted lead thing going on. There are a couple, a couple of uh, other effects on it, just for sheer clarity here. I've got the Slate Virtual Channel on it. Um, what are we? We're on the 4K, so an SSL E channel just with a bit of drive pushed up. And there's Waves Vitamin on it as well, just doing a little bit of push in the mid look. Um, what we'll do though is I'll disable both of those so we can hear just the synth itself. It's not a huge difference, it was just really adding some mid range and a bit of a profiling with the slate there. So, what this does is basically it has two synths layered in itself and they're analog emulations and they're really dirty analog emulations. So you see at the top here, we've got parts and we can have the two different parts in. So we can layer them together if we want and have two of the same synth run at the same time, which is just a cool little feature. So we get some phasing and differences there, even though it's running exactly the same patch, just because there's minor differences and because of the nature of the way this plugin works, being a, a real analog emulation, everything's a little bit different each time it plays, so it's always going to give some cancellation. On this particular patch, I've just got the one instance running though. And uh, for the most part, it's built out like any other synth. You've got two oscillators set out here on the left. And if you've ever used like a Moog or anything, they work in this range system here where you, you're going to choose roughly the range that it's working in. Yeah, so that's going to set your overall octave of where that particular oscillator is working in rather than um, like having pitch downs and things like that. You can choose that one will be working uh, however many semitones below another. As this was a lead sound, I've got them both sat there on the uh, eight, I think it is. One thing I will say on like a 5K screen, I have my screen set really far back. It is pretty, uh, pretty hard to read these. I have to lean right in. Be nice to uh, be able to resize it, but hey, it's been around for yonks and 
it sounds awesome. So that's all that really matters. Um, we've also got a like nice detune option here, and it's a real detune, meaning it goes to tiny little fractions, and you can actually do what's called quad and make it even finer. And that's what really gives it its unique analog sort of feel, is the, the, the cleverness of the detune. And obviously take fineness into it as well. You can also shape the detune by using the uh, envelope too, which is nice. Just to be able to put that in there. So you can have a nice uh, true tone note and have it wobble off if needed. And delay time and delay amount is also quite useful for getting the two oscillators to be slightly out of phase. Um, you'll see on something like Massive, where you have like the cycle of like free or always trigger, you're gonna make use of the delay times and delay amounts on something like this to, to achieve that same sort of effect. It's like they're always gonna trigger at the same time otherwise. You can use the delay to make it so one trigger slightly off. And that's sort of the difference between uh, having it as free running oscillators or always trigger or set the phase. Then going to the mixer, we've just got the amount. This again set out kind of like a Moog where you've got your different oscillators and then you mix them in in different levels just going through the signal chain. Uh, pretty useful. And then we're moving into our filter or the first part of the filter. So the filter is set out like a true analog section and it goes into a high pass or band pass. You can switch this guy out to whichever you want. There's just a little switch here for high pass and band pass. Uh, we've just got it on high pass in this case because of the lead sound that took all the bottom end out. And you can obviously change the steepness of your slope as well. Look at that really fine there. What's nice is as well, it doesn't latch on. Um, you can go in between on the slopes, which is useful. A lot will like snap to 6, 12, 18, 24, but you can just have a really, really gentle slope if you like, and then do a really harsh high cut, and it just takes a little bit out rather than loads. Just a nice little touch. Obviously resonance, standard. If you've got a really gentle slope, the resonance doesn't do that much. Um, Anything that you like massively boost on here, you get a representation of these little valves being like oversaturated and they really glow so that you sort of at a glance know what areas you're pushing and where you're going to experience distortion. So everywhere you've got one of these valves, it's possible to experience distortion on the signal. Uh, we move through a filter, we've got a nice low pass, pretty simple. Age, which is quite good, it adds like dirt and grit to the filter sounds. You can just make them feel a bit a bit filthier. If you're modulating the cutoff, it's a bit more obvious as well. So talking about these little valves and their glowing, you'll see they're all attached to their own like little green modules. The knob below them each time is their level of saturation, how much you can push that and saturate that. So if we just crank all of them up, see we start to get a really distorted sound, but it's still a pleasant sound. Just the real trick of this plugin. Yeah, until we hammered both oscillators. You can really quickly uh, keep your sound similar, but then you could modulate these and jack them all up a little bit to give a feeling of moving into a new section, for example, without actually changing the sound that much, which is just a nice, li nice little touch, nice little thing that you can't do in a lot of synths. Um, got a standard envelope section, two sets of ADSRs. Um, envelope three is by default always linked to amplitude. Um, envelope two, you can change between your like high pass and low pass. And envelope four, you've got like a modulation option there where you can actually choose what envelope four is going to affect. If we look right down in the bottom right hand corner, we've got some built in effects. Always a cool thing to have. Got a nice little chorus built in there and delay sections built in. And this also is a nice little touch. So you've got a built in ARP. So if we get you playing, we can switch the ARP on and we can actually have it automatically arpeggiate from the plugin, which is great for making uh, quick pulsing leads and things.
and notice that it stays in sync with your project tempo. So I just thought I'd show you this since it's a plugin I'm actively using. It's on like a beat that is for sale and you can purchase uh, and yet you can grab it for a pound now. Well worth it. So links in the description for that. I hope the video was helpful for you guys. I hope this has enlightened you and given you something useful to go and grab and have a bit of fun with for less than a bottle of Coke. So I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you very much for watching and subscribing.